What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to replace the battery in this Hyundai Elantra GT flip key remote fob. This Hyundai Elantra GT key fob is going to be for the vehicles that do not have a push button start ignition and it's going to use replacement battery CR2032. I'll put a link in the description box of this video to where you can purchase these replacement batteries if you're in need. The other things I'm going to be using to replace this battery is a small Phillips head screwdriver and a small flathead screwdriver. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my key fob and go ahead and flip the key blade out. Now if we hold the key fob with the buttons facing down and we take a look in that space that the key just flipped out of, you can see there's a little bit of a notch right here that the end of my screwdriver's on. And then there's another one just like it over here. And this one's a little harder for the camera to pick up, but it is there. So we have a notch there and a notch here. What I'm going to do is put my screwdriver in that notch like that and just kind of start prying up on this back cover. And don't worry about trying to pry it all the way off from one side. Once you get one side started, come over to the other. And then once we have both sides popped up like that, you can pull the cover the rest of the way off with your hands. Now we're going to grab our Phillips head screwdriver and remove these two small Phillips head screws right here. Once those screws are out, then this cover will lift off of here like that. And we can see our battery right here. Now I'm going to grab my flathead screwdriver and just kind of get on the edge of this battery to pop it out of that holder. Now I'm going to grab my new replacement battery and you want to make sure that you're installing that with the plus side up. And I'm going to kind of tuck this edge in first. Tuck that edge in first like that and then snap it down into place. Then we can throw this back cover on and you need to kind of slide this tab right here in first so that'll slide in and then you can put your two screws in. Once you have that cover screwed down, then we can snap this back cover on. This will just snap right on. Put our key blade back down, and that's it. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.